Hi guys, it's George Lawrence. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to achieve those really cool editorial Instagram photos with the red, blue, purple lights. It was really easy to create all using products that you already have at home. Shouldn't take a lot of preparation at all. And really, it's a bit of a botched job. Like this is not a professional way to create these pictures at all, but this is great for doing it yourself at home. And I think the outcome looks just as good as if they were professionally taken. So I'm really happy with the outcome. I hope you guys are too. And so if you do want to achieve these pictures I will be giving you a little step-by-step -step guide and then at the end of this video I will also be revealing the winner of the giveaway in the video that I posted two weeks ago with the MICVIM backpack so do stick around to find out if that is you. Before I start guys please do like this video subscribe to my channel and comment below what you thought of this video if you would like me to create any more images like this like Instagram picture hacks then I would love to do that as I really enjoy creating this sort of content. For now I think that's everything so let's get started. So first of all the things you will need are a plain white wall as this photographs best a lamp I had a big standing lamp downstairs, which I will show you in the clips You will then also need a tripod. This is really good I use this just to hold up some of the lights that we use to create the colored effect and then a camera of your choice I did actually try to use my DSLR camera to take these photos, but it actually wasn't that effective The shutter speed wasn't quite quick enough so that didn't work. So in the end, I actually just used my phone camera, which I think came out really well. Um, so another really quick, easy way to create these pictures because you don't need additional equipment or an expensive camera. Now to create the colored lights, the things that I used were actually, for the blue lights, I used a Christmas decoration light. It was just a string of blue Christmas lights. These are the sort of lights that you put around the Christmas tree. Really, you can use anything or any color if you really want to switch things up, but I found these blue ones worked really well and really complement the red light because the two together then create a really nice purple shade and finally on top of the lamp I stuck on a red lid this isn't actually the one that I use this is from um, a Tupperware pot but the one that I actually used was from a box of celebrations chocolate I don't know if you have those in any other countries but basically what they are is just a big plastic box of chocolates that everyone has in their house over the Christmas period um, and I used the red plastic lid from this stuck it over the big lamp that I have in our lounge with sellotape I'm not too sure how safe this is but it worked well and if you're doing it for short periods I'm sure you'll have no problem so we stuck that on and that created a really great strong red red light for the pictures and that is literally it that is all of the equipment you need really quick really simple really easy and you should have all of those things in your house already now for the setup all we did was have the tripod on one side with the blue Christmas lights attached and then the lamp with the red lid attached to the other side these produce quite a strong light so actually what I found most effective in setting up this was to have the lamp with the red lid on it turned away from us this still gave a red light into the room it just wasn't as strong and harsh and didn't completely cancel out the blue light so I would highly recommend maybe turning that lamp away so that it's just a nice soft red light. For the best outcome it is much better to produce these photos in a room that's really dark so we actually took these pictures at night time, shut all of the blinds and curtains and everything to the window so that it was pitch black in the room apart from the red light and the blue light. This kept everything consistent and just ensured that the only lights in the picture were the red and the blue ones. Now to do this it would be much easier to have a friend to help you out to actually take the pictures um, or you could use a second tripod to have a camera sat on a tripod but in this case, I was actually using my tripod to have the blue Christmas lights attached to it. So I did have a friend to take the pictures of me while I had this set up around. And that just speeds up the process really because then they can see the pictures that work well, get all of the good camera angles for you. So yes, I would highly recommend doing this with a friend. Now, once you have your setup, all you have to do is take the pictures. Um, you can get really cool and artistic and creative with this. Do what the hell you want that you think creates a good picture. We incorporated some really cool materials like netted curtain and stuff just because that creates another dimension, makes the image really interesting and quite artistic, but also like quite dark. I just think they turned out really cool. But that is not the end of this picture process. After we took the pictures, we opened them up in VSCO, the app on an iPhone. I think they might actually be on other devices. They have some really great filters and editing effects that worked really well for this. Here I will show you what I did. Basically I used a filter but not to its full strength as it sort of took out too much of the red and blue light and sort of made our face white. So I just softened this filter a little bit, increased the contrast and just played around with a few of the other levels um, in order to get this final effect which I'm really happy with. And I think these final pictures look really professional. I can imagine seeing these in like a cool fashion magazine and that's actually where we took our inspiration from. There are a lot of photographers that do this sort of thing in their images 
Um, so this is just a really great cheap way of doing it yourself at home. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's such a simple process, but really effective. If you do end up giving this a try, then please do let me know. I would love to see your pictures. Again, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below letting me know what you thought. But finally, before you go, let me get on to the giveaway. The winner of this giveaway was XYZOYO. So yeah, something like that. I'm sorry if I'm not getting your username right. But I have already got in contact with you. So send me all of your details and I will send you your new backpack. I really hope you enjoy it and it works well for your schoolwork. Thank you to everyone who entered. I really appreciate it. And also do subscribe because I do plan on doing more giveaways in the future. So keep your eye out for those. And that is everything now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week.